Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Eric Barber here, and I'm back with a brand new video. Today, I will be reviewing and also entering my own submissions for the Mr. Beast Feastables chocolate bars. As you guys may know, uh, the Mr. Beast chocolate bars only have four primary ingredients, as crazy as that is. Uh, here, we got the packaging here. It's kind of nicely packaged. Uh, here's what our thing looks like here. Let's check out the sugar contents. 14, 13, and 13. So 14 grams of sugar per bar. That's like relatively low compared to something like Hershey's, I think. Um, and so this is the packaging. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Uh, you know, I'm sure everyone that's watching this already knows but if you, like, all these bars got like a code where you have a good chance to win something on the back. Uh, the big thing is that you can, you know, go into like a YouTube contest of his where you could win a whole chocolate factory. Everyone's been asking me how that works. I don't know how it works, but it's something that just exists. But also there are codes on the back where you can enter to win prizes. Uh, I have not seen anyone actually win a prize off that yet, so I'm a little sussed out. But let's go ahead and get into the trials. So here we have the original chocolate flavor. Uh, normal chocolate is my absolute favorite. Uh, yo, I think there's some chocolate bars in that bag too for a uh, base, a control. Yes. Kind of what I want to try first. Oh, thank you. First of all, it smells like you can smell the cocoa off of it, which I feel like you can't tell off of Hershey's right off the rip. I'm gonna try a piece of a Hershey's. Get a little bit of base there. Hershey's, you know, a lot of people got a lot of smack to talk about Hershey's, but I think they're pretty dependable. They're not as rich as something like Godiva or Lindor chocolate, but they get the job done. They taste good. They kind of taste a little bit cheap if you've had like the nicer chocolates, but they're good. They're dependable. Now let's try Mr. Beast chocolate. First of all, the pattern on them. Oh, it says share at the top. I thought it said chart or something. I really don't know where that came from. Well, you can break some off and try it. This one requires a lot of thinking. Okay, compared to the Hershey's milk chocolate, this tastes definitely a little bit more uh, dark. You can taste like a little bit more cocoa with it. Not as sweet, but it's a little bit more rich and pretty tasty. Uh, if my uh, production assistant wants to have a piece, you can. You can just drop your review just now. Pretty good, boss. <laughs> Perfect. Next, we have quinoa crunch chocolate. This is like a crunch bar, except instead of, you know, rice, the main ingredient is quinoa. The back, you know, sort of looks like uh, someone's pimply skin, but uh, could be really delicious. This is Devour, you know, looks like they just go into some keywords here. Now uh, let's take a bite. To me, very, very similar. I feel like I gotta get a more crunchy bite. Mmm. Mmm. I'll be kind of frank. The crunch is not that noticeable. Like, there's a texture, there's a sound, but there's not a lot of flavor coming from it. Like, to me, it just feels like I'm eating the normal Mr. Beast chocolate. What are your thoughts? I think it's pretty good, but it's kind of like got the same vibe as like the chocolate bars you can buy at like Trader Joe's. Like, it's dark chocolate, and it's got a bit more of a crunchy, or like a, I guess a crunch to the bite. It's like, uh -huh. the crisps are pretty good. But yeah, I agree with you. Like, crunch has more of like a texture to it. It's pretty good, but I don't think it's like a replacement for the crunch bar. Absolutely not. 
It's, it's like good. It gets the job done. But it's not like the superior taste. Um, next we have the almond chocolate, which uh, we'll, we'll try a little bit of. I'm not a big almond guy, not a big nut guy, personally. Uh, but you know what, we'll, we'll go ahead and try this bad boy out. Okay, it says devour at the bottom here, just like a lot of them do. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like the nut content, if you guys can see that, like is not even that high. Like I feel like, again, I'm tasting the standard Mr. Beast chocolate bar. I don't know, it's not really anything special to me right now. This is the truth. Here, if you want a piece. Oh yeah. It's a good dark chocolate, but I'm not even really tasting too much of the almonds. And I think I took a pretty big bite there. And... I agree, it needs more almonds. For example, dude, like, you know, in this Hershey's bar, you can see whole almonds in this, you know? It's a little almond dust, which is so weird. Um, I just for example, I'm not going to bite into the Hershey almond because we're already there. And uh, I guess all that's left is to see if we won anything. I don't think I'll open all these bars at once, but the codes are uh, just right here in the back of the bar. So we'll go ahead and uh, get scanning. Alrighty guys, uh, we have 17 codes. Uh, one. Candy just did not have a code for some reason. A little cringe, but now we're gonna go ahead and start entering all of our codes. Uh, you don't have to open up the bar, which is really nice. So we got all these. We're gonna go ahead and submit. Spin to win, you get a little Mr. Beast spinny thing. Uh, not a win, uh, what I expect. Of course, nothing did ever. Okay, play again. Um, we'll do T7. F T Z H sixteen, and uh, you know I'm feeling good about this one. I really feel like I'm gonna win something. J K, we'll see. Not win. I really can't believe it. Everyone who's watching, I feel like, you know, some of you guys might be kind of young, a kid. You might think Mr. Beast is the best person on earth because he helps all these people all the time and maybe he'll help you out. There's a thing called naivety. And perhaps I was naive thinking Mr. Beast would help out the little guy once in a while. What is this, huh? That's what I think of your freaking chocolate, Mr. Beast. You ruined my time, and you ruined my life. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to The Eric Barber, and we're starting an unsubscribe to Mr. Beast campaign until he sends me a winning sweepstake. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.